Monsoon rainfall in Asia. Flood over the Yangtze River Valley. El Nino in the Pacific Ocean. These events are strongly associated with one place on Earth. Spanning 2.5 million square kilometers, it is home to tens of thousands of glaciers that nourishes more than 10 of Asia's major rivers. Known as the Tibetan Plateau, it is also called the third pole of the Earth. The third pole continent is a heat source of the atmosphere. The heat source will generate cyclone situations. In summer, you see the pumping of the Tibetan Plateau forming a moisture transport from the ocean. So we have wet climate on southern China, eastern China. Scientists are racing to understand the third pole. Because as enormous and influential as it is, it is also extremely vulnerable to climate change. In past 50 years, most of the lake has expanded. The air temperature has changed. There's another, more urgent discovery. The vertical atmospheric circulation over the Tibetan Plateau is a pathway that transports pollutants on land into the stratosphere, where the ozone layer lies. To understand what's taking place at the third pole, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has, for the past decades, run an interdisciplinary study helmed by the world's leading atmospheric scientists. Their research is being curated into a special issue of advances in atmospheric sciences. This special issue focuses on the analysis of observational and modeling data to better understand the roles played by the Tibetan Plateau on the climate of Asia and even the globe. Deciphering the third pole is highly challenging and dangerous. But every year, scientists insist on braving the elements and the high altitude for months long to collect meaningful data. However, with a landmass so vast, field studies at the third pole can only cover limited grounds. The third pole is the summit of the summit. So especially it's very important under the current global warming, how environment change in such extreme high land. We still don't have much in-situ observation data. To fill in the gaps, scientists are relying on advancements in satellite, remote sensing technology, and supercomputer. The use of satellite data for similar purposes started actually a long time ago. On the plateau, it was kind of logical thing to do. The use of the interpretation of satellite data has evolved to the point that you could estimate many different variables related to the water cycle. Using these sophisticated tools, scientists can attain more accurate data of the third pole. Combining these data with better scientific models, scientists are unraveling a different side to the Tibetan Plateau. From its water cycles, to cyclones, and even to its influences in extreme weather. The heavy snowfall is a very important issue. Yeah, surely we can do some simulation of the snowfall of the Tibetan Plateau. In our study, we apply a new global modeling framework to study the impacts of these mountains and valleys. Therefore, it can reduce the modeling bias in moisture transport and precipitation of the region. We will have better understanding of the physical, chemical, and dynamical processes over the Tibetan Plateau region. With changes set to take place as a result of global warming at the Third Pole, looking ahead of time has become very crucial for scientists. My field is climate modeling. We hope to improve our understanding of the past and the future changes of climate change over the Tibetan Plateau by using high-performance supercomputers and with the help of climate models. Our data set can be used by policymakers in the policymaking processes and also local people in the activities related to climate adaptation. They are connected with the sustainability development. For long, the third pole has stood untouched. 
but with the help of modern science, unraveling its secrets is no longer a pipe dream. Then we would like to get understanding the updated or current climate and the environment conditions in this region. The response of the Tibetan Plateau to global warming is essential. I hope to get enough interest by colleagues and students to go farther in that direction. In the future, we hope to provide more. We can get better and accurate projections. The future is exciting, and scientists are hoping their efforts will continue to reach out to both researchers and the public to raise more conversations about the third pole.